Hi, I'm Nathaniel Deal, and this is an overview and assembly video for the ammo counter V1. Uh, this ammo counter fits most Nerf blasters. You can integrate it into the shell, you can integrate it into a scope, uh, whatever you like. Um, so in this video, we're going to go over what's in the kit, uh, what you need to purchase in addition to the kit, uh, how to assemble the kit, and how to set up and connect an Arduino. Okay, so first let's go over what's in the kit. You can choose to purchase this kit assembled or unassembled from AmmoCounter.com. Um, an unassembled kit comes with the following. An LED PCB, a shift register PCB, a two-digit seven-segment LED in blue, a 16-pin ribbon for these two connections. This is about three to four inches. The two 16-pin connectors, two shift registers, five male header pins, 14 330 ohm resistors and a 10 piece female jumper wire. Okay, so the rest of the materials needed really depends on the blaster or counter you're trying to set up. Uh, here are some recommendations for that basic setup. So you'll need a power source. You can choose to purchase a rechargeable LiPo or lithium ion battery or simply use a 9 volt battery. But you'll also need an on and off switch for these. Um, if you have a motorized blaster, you can choose to simply connect to the bl blaster's power source with a positive and negative wire. Um, really, any voltage source under 5 volts, I'm sorry, above 5 volts and under 12 volts can be used. Uh, the ammo counter will draw around 0.5 amps when it's in use. Um, no matter what the power source you use, uh, you'll need to connect it to the raw input on the Arduino. So in addition to the power, you'll need a counter mechanism, um, the simplest being a lever switch. If you have a semi-automatic blaster, this may be the best option. Um, it requires installing a lever switch behind the trigger, and then every time the trigger is pulled, the counter will count down. Um, another method is using an IR detector and receiver. This requires an IR LED uh, receiver and detector, and a couple of resistors that are all available on the SparkFun uh, wish list. Um, this is a little more complicated and will be addressed in an upcoming video. Uh, both of these method methods are already included in the Arduino code that is available on ammocounter.com. Okay, so in this section, we're gonna assemble the ammo counter kit. If you purchase an assemble kit, feel free to skip ahead to the next section. Um, so in this section, we're going to need a couple of tools. The tools needed are going to be the wire cutters, a helping hands tool, which is optional, a resistor lead bin tool. Um, this one you can buy on SparkFun. I actually printed this one from uh, Thingiverse. Um, some solder and a soldering iron. Um, so first we'll assemble the LED PCB. Okay, so in order to assemble the LED PCB, you'll need the smaller PCB board, uh, the two-digit seven-segment LED, 16-pin uh, connector, and your solder and solder and iron. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put on is the 16-pin connector. Uh, the 16-pin connector goes onto the back side of the PCB, and you're going to flip it over, and you're going to see four lines. Those four lines line up with the slot on the connector. So that slot lines up with those four lines. Put it on like this, and then flip it over, and solder the leads. Next, we're gonna solder the LED onto the LED PCB. Locate the top of the LED PCB by indicating the text at the top here. The top of the LED is located at the top without the dots. So we'll take the top of the LED and put it into the PCB board and then push the bottom in. Flip it over on its back, set it back down, and solder the leads on. Okay, next we're gonna assemble the shift register PCB board. You'll need the larger PCB, uh, 14 330 ohm resistors, two shift registers, uh, the five pin male header, and another 16 pin connector. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is locate the resistors. There are 14 sections, seven at the top, seven at the bottom. Uh, you can see I've already bent these using my lead 
bin tool. Um, so we're just going to stick these in first. And once you have all the leads in, flip the board over and bend the leads out while pressing on the resistors on the opposite side. So we're gonna bend all the leads out. And once you have all the leads bent outward, solder. Once all the leads are soldered on, bend the leads back. And remove with the clippers. And I recommend you put an eyewear on for this, just in case one of these leads hits you in the eye. Just clip all these off. Okay, next we're gonna add the shift registers. Uh, the shift registers come a little bit bent in a more than 90 degree angle. So we're going to have to push these back down in order to get a good 90 degree angle on the leads so that they fit into the PCB board. So give them a little squeeze. You may have a little trouble getting these in. But the main thing is that you need to find the notch in the top of these and line it up with the notch on the diagram. So we put one side in, and then hopefully we can squeeze these other side in. There we go. And for the other one, the notch, the top here, and the notch here. Put one side in, and then the other side. Once that's done, we're gonna flip it over and solder it down. Okay, so the next step is to add the connector. The connector goes onto the front, and same as before, the slot in the connector lines up with these four lines on the bottom. So we put those in, and then flip it over, and solder. Okay, now that we have the connector on, the last thing we have to do is put the five pin male headers on. So for this, I'm going to use the helping hands and I'm going to insert the headers into the front and then clamp them on using the helping hand. And then I'm going to solder. Okay, so here's the last step, connecting the ammo counter to the Arduino. So in order to complete the final step, you'll need the following. You'll need an assembled LED PCB. You'll need the shift register PCB. You'll need an Arduino with the headers installed, along with the FTDI chip if you uh, choose to go with the Mini. Um, you also need the 10 female jumper wires uh, the 16 pin connector ribbon and a USB. All right, so I'm not gonna go too deep into how to set up an Arduino, but I am gonna give you a quick overview of how, how it should work. So uh, the first thing you wanna do is go to Google and search for Arduino download. When you do that, the first link should be the official Arduino website and take you to the download page. Um, there you're going to choose your operating system and install the program. Um, so you're going to set up the program, install it, and then you're going to connect your Arduino to the USB cable using the FTDI or the Micro uh, Pro connection. And then once you do that, you want to go into File, Examples, Basic, Blink. And this is a really small sketch that you can upload to your Arduino to make sure that everything's working right. So once you do that, uh, you go to uh, Tools and then Board and select your board. Uh, your board should be in the flyout list. Uh, for this one, I'm going to select Arduino Pro Mini. Um, and then upload the sketch to your Arduino using the Upload button. 
Uh, if you get an error, uh, try searching the Arduino forums. It's usually because of the port or a bad connection. Uh, but if you don't get any errors, then your Arduino should blink. The little LED on the Arduino should blink. Um, after that, that means that everything on Arduino is good and you can upload stuff to it. Then uh, you need to head over to uh, ammocounter.com and find the link for the ammo counter sketch. Um, download that zip file and open it on your computer. Uh, you're going to open up the folder and click on the sketch file. Double click it and it should open a new window in your Arduino. So then I need you to keep this connected and upload the sketch to your Arduino. Found the USB. There we go. All right, once you do, uh, it'll blink a couple times and then it'll be loaded. All right, so everything's loaded on, uh, then disconnect the Arduino from the USB. All right, we're gonna do that for safety reasons so we don't burn anything up in case something is, uh, is wired up wrong. All right, so then I want you to locate the 10 female jumper wires and remove the black and red ones. So you're gonna take these off. Uh, you can keep this brown one for something. I'm gonna take the black one off. So this will be our power and our negative. And then remove the blue, yellow, and green wires. So we're gonna take the orange one off, put that over there. And the purple, white, and gray ones off. These can be used for switches or whatever you like. Okay. So the next step is that we're going to grab the shift, reg shift register PCB and connect the red and black to the VCC and grounds. You can see that they're labeled here. The first one is VCC and the next one's ground. So we're gonna put the red one on the first one and the black one on the second one. Then we're gonna take the green, yellow, and blue ones and we're going to put the blue one on the serial pin, which is the first one, the green one on the clock pin, which is the last one, and then the yellow one on the R clock pin, which is labeled RCK. So it goes red, black, blue, yellow, green, like this. Red, black, blue, yellow, green, okay? Then we're gonna take the other side, and we're gonna take the black and the red ends, and we're gonna connect them to uh, a VCC, not a raw, but a VCC source on the Arduino. So we're gonna put the red one on the VCC, which is here, and the ground, which is here. Then we're gonna take these three wires and we're gonna put the blue on pin seven, which is here, the yellow on pin eight, and the green on pin nine. These are all labeled on the Arduino. 789, VCC and ground, it's kind of hard to see. You get the picture. And then take your 16 pin connection and plug it in, it only goes one way. And then plug it into the LED board. All right, there we go. And this is all you're gonna need for the basic setup. You will need to set up a counter of some source and another battery source. But once we plug this in, the Arduino's already coded, we should get a 20 on the counter. And if everything goes good, that's what you'll see. You can also change this in the code, um, however you like, set up some reset pins, set up some counter pins so that you can toggle between 6, 12, 18, 25, 35, however you like. Um, but yeah, that's the basic setup of the ammo counter. So congratulations if everything went well. Um, great. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.